Resolution measured in PPI, pixels per inch, or DPI, dots per inch, refers to the quality of an image. The higher the resolution, the higher the number of pixels along the width and height of an image, therefore making the quality of the image higher as well. However, the file size of an image also increases with increased resolution. This makes it more laborious to process or download an image. Now, depending on the situation, users can resize an image to fit their specific needs. For example, for photo quality printing, the image file should be set at a higher resolution. For online viewing, the image file can be set at a lower resolution. Go ahead and download and open data file resize digital image.jpg in Photoshop. Or if you'd like, you can open up your own image file and just follow the steps. First, click on the image menu and select image size. The image resize dialog box should open up. Inside, deselect the resample image checkbox, which will automatically deactivate scale styles and constrain proportions. Change the resolution to 300 pixels per inch. Now notice that the width and height changes in direct proportion to the change in resolution. That's because we turned off the resample image checkbox. If we hadn't have done that, then the width and height would have stayed the same regardless of changes to the resolution. Now, if this were to happen, it does not mean that the image quality all of a sudden is better at the same width and height. What's happening is that the computer generates duplicate pixels and just adds it to the image. So after you're done, go ahead and click on the OK button to apply the changes. If we want to print the image smaller at the same resolution, we have to go back to the image menu. Then select image size again. Then in the dialog box, recheck resample image as well as scale styles. Under document size in the width field, type in four. You'll notice the height automatically will change to say proportionate to the width. After you're done, click on the OK button. Once you're back in Photoshop, you want to receive this image as a separate file. Anytime you make permanent changes to an image file like the way we just did, it's smart to save it as a separate file so that the original file stays intact.